So this problem says a sample of gas is trapped in a cylinder of a syringe. It initially has a pressure of 5 pascal, a volume of 3 cubic meters, and a temperature of 7 Kelvin. The volume is available to the gas can be increased or decreased and the sample of gas can be heated or cooled. What is the gas's, what is the gas sample's temperature when its pressure is 10 pascal and its volume is 6 cubic meters? So this is an example of comparing the initial and final uh, uh, macroscopic parameters for a, a trapped volume of gas. So we start off by uh, making a list of what we know and the initial pressure is equal to 5 pascal and the initial volume is equal to 3 cubic meters and the initial temperature is equal to 7 Kelvin and then we change the volume available and we generally mess with the gas and we have a final pressure is equal to, according to these numbers, 10 pascal and our uh, final volume is equal to uh, 6 meters cubed and we want to find the final temperature, we'll call it T2. We don't know what it is. We're comparing the before, so let's call all these ones, with a second state, an after state, and we'll call all these twos. And the relationship that links these is that PV equals NRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles of gas, that's the amount of gas, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the absolute temperature. And if we rearrange this, we see that P V over T is equal to N times R. And because for this particular problem the number of moles is fixed, we, we trapped a, a volume of gas and we're changing the volume, but gas molecules can't get in or get out of the chamber. So the number of molecules is fixed, so, so N is fixed. And R is the universal gas constant, so these two multiplied together just equals a constant. So now we can say, well, if that's the case, then P1 V1 over T1, that's the initial state, must equal P2 V2 over T2, and that's the final state. So now we're putting numbers in, so we say 5 times 3 time uh, divided by and notice that the, the temperature is already in Kelvin so I don't need to worry about changing it to the Kelvin scale and then the final state is going to be a uh, pressure of 10 volume of 6 and temperature is T2 I like to write out this next step people sometimes skip it and I think that's where they tend to make just slips that give them the wrong answer. So this would be 10 times 6 times 7 over 5 times 3. And then I get my calculator and I put my numbers in. I go 10 times 6 times 7, enter divided by 5, answer, divided by 3, answer, and I get an answer of 28, and that's going to be Kelvin. There's my final answer, so I put it in a nice box. Please notice that I'm very careful in this region here. I do rearrange it because that's where people make slips, and I do carefully go through my, my calculator work, because it seems a shame to do all this work up here and then make a mistake down here. So there we have it. I can take one uh, P, V and T for a gas, an uh, initial state, and I can compare it with the P, V and T for the same gas at a second state. If you know five out of the six things, you can solve the problem. Uh, so there we have it.